Hi there, Sally from Strength and Dance. We're going to have a look today at some anatomy. So hopefully these visuals will just help you with your anatomy around your hip and pelvic area. Uh, I've got my nice uh, slender friend here, Sid the Skelly, to help me. And I'm going to show you where these muscles are sitting with the use of TheraBand. So we're going to start off inside the pelvic cavity, looking at muscles of psoas and iliacus. So, psoas actually comes right up from T12, comes off these vertebral bodies, discs, transverse processes, comes around through the front here and attaches here onto the inside of the thigh. You can see how that muscle orientation now can be worked with deep hip flexion, high retires, high developes. It also, because of where it sits on the spine, has an effect on pelvic position and also a lot of stability and control within the spine. It has a friend that it works with quite nicely called Iliacus. Iliacus sits within the bowl here of the pelvis and again comes down and forwards and to the front here. It's quite difficult to get hold of to massage so we often have to just pop over the top of the rim here. And it forms an iliosaurus tendon down here that again you can actually palpate yourself. Iliacus is really important in helping to centralise the hip back up and into the back of the socket where it belongs. So when we're doing our cueing for hip sucking before movements, that's what we're focusing on. If we then come and look towards the front of the leg and the pelvis, we've got our hip flexors or our more superficial hip flexors. We've got one that crosses the pelvis all the way down to the bottom. It's called biarticulate, which means it covers two joints. And that's rec fem. Coming up here on the inferior iliac spine, down the centre, it comes through, has the kneecap sitting within it, little sesamoid bone, and down onto the shin on tibial tuberosity. We then have the other three quadricep muscles, medialis, intermedius, and lateralis coming down off the thigh and again into this tibial tuberosity which is that knob you can feel at the front there. We have another one, sartorius, coming a little bit higher off the pelvis, coming across and again down into the tibia. That one does uh, almost like your attitude on a bar, so it rotates and flexes like that. I'm just going to pop Sid's arm up in a sling to get it out of the way. And then we're going to have a, a little look around here towards the front of the pelvis into TFL. So that's coming just off the front here and towards the front of the hip. So again, this can work with hip flexion, internal rotation of the hip. It's only small, it's looking like that. Coming around to the side, we have glute min. Little muscle coming off the side and onto the top here. That's main job, it works in abduction, but also helps to remove the hip capsule out of the way before you take your leg to the side. Glute mead is a little bit bigger, this is one you've probably heard of a lot more. Comes around here and onto the top of the hip there. That muscle takes the leg out to the side, abduction, and if your foot is on the floor, it slows down abduction with a planted foot. So those are the ones we're focused on and that I'm training in other videos on the channel. So generally this fan, or the deep hip rotator fan that I'm referring to, travels like this in that fun shape. We've got piriformis coming off the underside and around to the greater trochanter. We've got our gemellis, um, obturator, externus and internus coming around like that. And then we have QF sitting here as a quadrangle shape at the bottom. And it's QF that we're quite familiar and that we can focus with and palpate well in this gap here when we're doing our turnout training. On the back of the hip then, we've got our big kahuna muscle, which is glute max. And that spreads all over here, comes in towards your ITB. Bottom portion of glute max, a little bit more oblique with its fibres, so working with external rotation and extension with the leg behind us. Travelling back here, we've got our hamstrings. So they're coming off your sit bone. We've got 
two coming down towards the inside of the knee and we've got one coming down amongst the heads of the fibula here. So two lines there and they work sort of with a rotational action of the knee, so they help control rotation here. If we bring sit round once more, we've then got our inner thigh muscles or adductors. We've got a short adductor here, pectineus. Then we come down, longer, longer, very big adductor magnus sitting here, also comes on near our hamstrings. And then we have gracilis, which was quite long. So there's quite a few sitting here in this adductor group. And the adductors will bring our leg into centre and also they will help stabilise when we're doing a lot of our one-legged work. The adductors form part of our dynamic sling system also. So there we go, very quick visual of the muscles leading into the hip and the 